All right, guys, let's discover what's really new in Adobe InDesign 2023, starting with auto styling, which I really find a very cool feature in InDesign. So here, for example, we have that text in here, and it does has a style, as you can see. We have a heading style and a paragraph style in here. So let's say we'd like to apply a new style with one click only, or even you do have a plain text and you'd like to style it from scratch without having to create a new title style, paragraph style, subheading style, and so on and so forth. You can easily do that by going to your paragraph style, which you can find in here, or you can access that one as well from window, styles, then you'll find paragraph styles. And here you can find that button in here, which is called view styles packs. Clicking on that one, you can find that you do have some styles in here from Adobe and they are currently a technology review. So hopefully soon they'll be enhancing that one even further and adding more styles. So let's select our text and let's maybe apply something like that. First of all, you have to download that one and instantly you have a different style or even let's select a different one. I don't really like that one here, maybe something like that. And instantly, as you can see guys in our paragraph styles, here we do have style classic, which we just applied. And also we do have Avenue. And as you can see, it took some time to update fonts in here. So anyway, as you can see in classic, we do have heading, we do have subhead, paragraph, list, ordered list. So let's maybe go ahead and create a subhead clicking in here and pressing enter. And let's assume that this one will be a subhead paragraph like so. <laughs> Maybe that's too long for a subhead. So let's keep it shorter. Maybe something like so. And if you click in here, you can see that we do have paragraph enabled. If we click in here, we do have list enabled. And what's really even cooler is that you can tweak these styles according to your taste. So let's say for example that heading is so big and you don't like that size. So we can click in here, you can see that we do have heading enabled. We can double click on that one and we do have basic character formats. We can click in here and as you can see we do have size of 84. We can downsize that one maybe all the way to 48 or so. You can even change font or something that you like, then you can press OK. Then you can easily reapply these styles to your entire document. So here, for example, we can zoom out. Let's press command and click outside to deselect that one. We do have a different style. We can click in here. We can even select that paragraph only if we would like, or even we can undo that then holding and maintaining command or control, clicking on the entire text, then we can apply classic. Play, and here you go. Also what's really cool in Adobe InDesign 2023 is that you can copy between InDesign and Illustrator while maintaining your style. So here, for example, we do have some type, we can select that type in here, pressing command or control C, going back to Illustrator, pressing command or control V, you do have that one in the same style, as you can see, with the same colors, same head style, and paragraph style as well, which can be really handy if you're designing something in Illustrator, and you do have the text styled in InDesign, you can easily copy and paste that, or even you can do the opposite by selecting something from Illustrator, like that vector shape in here, which can be easily a logo, <laughs> maybe an Audi logo for example, Pressing command or control C, then going back to InDesign, pressing command or control V. Now we do have that vector shape ready for us. Then we can resize that one using command or control, shift key, then reducing its size like so. Also now they do have new graphic formats supported in InDesign. So as you can see, now we can import HEIC or HEIF or WEBP and gp2k files in their native file formats without loss of fidelity so for instance iphone will be taking heic format you can take that photo right away from your iphone to your computer and place that one right away in indesign 
without worrying about reformatting your images and maybe losing some of its quality or getting some JPEG artifacts or something like that. So this should be a cool feature as well. <laughs> also now in Adobe InDesign 2023, you can duplicate your pages in a better way. So let's go to pages in here, collapsing styles. And this will be really handy if you're working with a very large document like that one here. So let's say you would like to duplicate these two images, 14 and 15, but not right after these two images, maybe at the end of our document, we can right click in here and you can see that we do have duplicate spread which will be duplicating them right away in here as 16 and 17 or you can undo that and right click again then you can find that new option in here which will be duplicating that spread at the end of your document and this might be something you're looking for while you're designing and instead of duplicating that one in here then you do have to drag them all the way to the end of your document especially if you do have too many pages as you can see this will be quite daunting you know so these are the major new updates in adobe indesign 2023 hope you enjoyed that one guys take care and i'll be seeing you in next one